Hello, this is Eric Forget and George Castilla with a sneak preview of some of the features of the NetApp Rapid Cleaning Utility version 3.0. This release introduces full support for vSphere 4.0. Specifically, this includes vCenter 4, ESX 3.5, and ESX 4.0 hosts. For you VDI fans, this release provides integration into VMware View 4.0 as well shows data store provisioning across an ESX 3.5 and 4.0 host simultaneously. We'll right click on the data center and choose provision data stores. Choose the controller, choose the type of data store, in this case VMFS. We'll do a fiber channel data store at 10 gig and we'll call it a new data store. Take a quick look at the summary. We have a NetApp data store allocation task that started. At this point, the storage has already been provisioned on the NetApp controller, and we're rescanning the ESX hosts on each of the HPAs to find the new LUN. We'll refresh the host storage system to make sure we have a current view of all of the LUNs, and create the VMFS file system on the LUN. We'll rescan for VMFS and then set the proper logical unit policy for each of the LUNs. You can see that we have our new data store on our ESX 3.5 machine and we have the same one on our ESX 4.0 machine. Now we'll flip over to another environment where we'll demonstrate the integration with VMware View 4. In this case, we'll pick a VM, right-click on it, and choose Create Rapid Clones. Select the controller. Select the destination for our new VMs. Make any changes to the VMDK file format. We're going to create 10 clones and call them Demo Run 0, 1 through 10. We're going to import them into the connection broker. Of course, we're going to choose VM or View in this case. You can see we can also upgrade the hardware for you. We'll choose the destination data store and then fill out the view credentials. In this case, we're going to create a manual desktop called New Pool 1. Take a quick look at the summary and then apply. We'll flip over to the View Manager view, and you'll notice that we don't have any desktop or pools yet. No desktop sources. If we flip back over, what's happening right now is the controller is completely offloading the cloning of the VMDK files that we'll later attach to the VMs that we've cloned. At this point, all of the storage activity is completed. What we're going to do now is clone the virtual machine and attach the VMDK files that we've cloned on the storage controller to each of the new clones. A new feature in RCU 3.0 is the ability to choose the VM folder as a destination. In this case, we did not, so it's going to put them into the root of the VM folder. You can see demo 01 through 7 have already shown up there. Speaking of destinations in RCU 3.0, we'll also be able to choose vApp or resource pools as destinations. As far as sources, we've added the ability to choose not only a virtual machine, but if you have VM snapshots of a virtual machine, you'll be able to choose which VM snapshot you want to base the clones off of. You can see we have a task there, NetApp Connection Broker Import, and if we flip back over to our View Manager and refresh it, you can now see that we have our new pool. It's a manual pool, just as we requested, and of course there's our new desktops, our new virtual machines as desktop sources. 
This has been a sneak preview of some of the features in RCU 3.0. Thanks for watching. Go further faster in your VMware environment with the Rapid Cleaning Utility from NetApp.